Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar, adjunct professor in Kochi University of Science and Technology, Kochi, Kerala. In this video, Perspective 11, we are going to solve the question presented in Perspective 9, which has come for KTU in May, June 2019 by a simpler method. We are going to solve the same question by a simpler method. The question is, a pentagonal pyramid 25 mm side, 50 mm height is resting on its base on the ground. The pentagonal pyramid is resting on its base on the ground with an edge of base parallel to PP and 15 mm behind PP. So what I do is, draw PP, then draw the pentagon A, B, C, D, E, F so that the side AB is 15 mm behind PP. The central plane passes through the axis, so I draw a vertical line and 40 mm away from PP, I draw SP. The distance of station point from PP is 40. 40 mm below, in front of PP is SP. Then I draw HL and GL 65 mm apart because the station point is 65 mm above the ground. This is drawn anywhere below SP and GL 65 mm below that. Then, I draw a line connecting A and C which is parallel to DE and I extend it to cut PP at A1. I extend DE to cut PP at E1. I draw a line through B parallel to this side to cut PP at B1. I draw a line through OP parallel to this side to cut PP at O1, P1. Then, I find out the vanishing point of those sides by drawing a line through SP parallel to them, cutting PP at V1 and dropping them to HL to get capital V1. What is capital V1? Capital V1 is the vanishing point of all these lines. These lines are parallel. So, this is the vanishing point of all these lines. Agreed? Then, I drop E1 to GL to get capital E1, which is the vanishing point of this point. And which is the perspective of this point. I drop O1, P1 down, I get O1, 50 mm above, 50 is the height, 50 mm above, I get P1, drop this down, I get A1, drop this down, I get B1. Then I join E1, O1, A1 and B1 to the vanishing point. Agree? This E1, B1 will contain E and D. This O1, B1 will contain O. And this P1, V1 will contain P. This A1, V1 will contain A and C. This B1, V1 will contain B. Where are they? Drop their intercepts. Drop their intercepts. Example, A1, V1 will contain A. Where is it? Drop the intercept of A1. Drop the intercept of small a, small a, capital A. Drop the intercept of C on the same line, capital C, drop the intercept of B onto B1, V1, intercept of B is this, I get capital B, drop the intercept of E to E1, V1, I get capital E, intercept of D, intercept of D is the same vertical line, I get capital D, so what all you have got, you have got A, B, C, D and E, drop the intercept of OP, onto O1, V1, you get O, drop the intercept of OP to P1, V1, you get P. Connect A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E and E, A. D, E and D, C is dotted. P is the apex. P, E is firm. P, A is firm. P, B is firm. P, C is firm. P, D is dotted. It coincides with the axis which is OP. I repeat. Join all these points to V1 on which drop the corresponding intercepts. That's all. This method is comparatively easy because you have got only one vanishing point. All these lines are drawn through the base points and the axis so that the intercepts when dropped to those lines will give you the actual points. That's the concept. This height O1 V1 is the axis height of the pyramid 50 mm. All these lines which you drop down to get the perspectives are called the lines of heights. Lines of heights. This is the easiest method to draw the 
draw, draw this problem instead of finding many vanishing points. Wishultra method is not possible because if you draw you use Wishultra method, you will not get the apex. You will not get the apex. It will inter it will not intersect, it will coincide. That's the problem. I hope you understand. You have to draw this unlayer. You have to draw this unlayer. Okay. Thank you.